Hello my dear students welcome to my youtube channel that's concepts of chemistry before starting today's lecture please do subscribe my channel so my dear students today we are going to study some introduction about the bohr atomic model so to overcome the shortcomings of rutherford model and to explain the hardin spectrum the bohr sir proposed a quantum mechanical model of the atom so let's talk about this this model was based on the quantum theory of radiation which we have done earlier in the previous lecture so let's start some important postulates of the atomic model which was given by sir niels bohr so first of all the very first postulate bohr sir said that the atom has a nucleus where all the protons and neutrons are present the very first point i'm writing the atom has a nucleus where all the protons and neutrons are present now it was the easy one uh, the nucleus was discovered by rutherford sir uh, that point was taken forward by bohr sir that atom has a nucleus where all the protons and neutrons are present now the negatively charged electrons revolves around the nucleus the second point the negatively charged electrons revolves around the nucleus and revolution is such that revolution is such that centripetal force centripetal force is equal to the centrifugal force i have talked about the centripetal force and the centrifugal force in detail in the previous lectures please go back to my channel and uh, check out the videos of the rutherford model where you will get easily the centripetal force and centrifugal force in detail now now the main points the third point out of infinite number of possible circular orbits around the nucleus electrons can revolve only in those orbit where angular momentum of electron is quantized let's talk about it i'm writing out of infinite number of orbits around nucleus out of infinite number of orbits around the nucleus the electron will revolve in that orbit where its angular momentum where its angular momentum is quantized now first of all i am writing what is angular momentum angular momentum 
angular momentum will be equal to the product of the mass of electron the velocity of the electron by which it is revolving around the nucleus and the radius of the orbit in which it is revolving now that's an angular momentum what do you understand by quantization of angular momentum niels bohr according to his own study has given an equation called h upon 2 pi niels bohr sir said the angular momentum m v r the angular momentum must be whole number multiple of h upon 2 pi that stands for quantization of angular momentum that mvr must be whole number multiple of h upon 2 pi now where this n where this n is whole number now once you put the mass of the electron over here the velocity of electron over here the radius of electron over here then you know the what is h h the planck's constant h is the planck's constant whose value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 and pi you also know it's 3.14 once you have put down the all the values of the mass the velocity the radius the h the pi you will get the value of n to be the whole number and that will also specify the orbit number so that stands for quantization of angular momentum that mvr must be whole number multiple of h upon 2 pi only that orbit will be accessible orbit with which the electron can revolve now so the orbit so i'm writing the fourth point so the orbit in which electron revolve will be called as stationary orbit will be called as stationary orbit orbit whose angular momentum is quantized that is the mvr is whole number multiple of h upon 2 pi that whole number will be called as the orbit number or the stationary orbit in which the electron will revolve so what exactly means what exactly does this word the stationary orbit stands for it stands for when electron when electron revolves in stationary orbit it does not it does not emit electromagnetic radiations so what exactly is a stationary orbit the orbit in which the electron will not emit the electromagnetic radiation obviously the orbit whose angular momentum is quantized that will be called as a stationary orbit and only in that orbit the electron will not emit the electromagnetic radiation hence the electron will not lose its own energy and got get collapsed on the nucleus so that was the point taken from the drawback of the rutherford model that we have to find the orbit in which the electron will not emit the em radiation the bohr sir has found that the orbit whose angular momentum is quantized will angular momentum is quantized in that orbit the electron will not emit electromagnetic radiations now let's talk about the next point
the fifth point each stationary orbit i'm writing each stationary orbit is associated is associated with definite amount of energy and this energy increase with increasing distance of orbit with increasing distance of orbit from nucleus so that was the fifth point now the next point when the electron interchange the orbit that is the electron whether the electron will jump to the next orbit or will come back come the orbit that is closer to the nucleus so in that case is the emission and absorption of energy will occur now i'm writing the emission the emission and absorption of energy will take place when electron when electron jumps from lower orbit to higher orbit or from higher orbit to lower orbit so that was the sixth point and now let's talk about sixth point in detail with the help of a diagram first of all this is the nucleus now assume this is the first orbit this is the second orbit this is the third orbit this is the first orbit this is the second orbit this is the third orbit now assume electron is present over here in the first orbit when electron jumps from first orbit to the next orbit that is from first to second or from first to the third or from first to the fourth or from first to the fifth or from first to the infinity the electron will absorb energy from the surroundings now when the electron jumps from lower orbit to higher orbit that is from first to 1 to 2 the 1 to 3 the 1 to 4 the 1 to 5 or the 1 to infinity the electron will absorb energy the electron will absorb energy from the surrounding now in the reverse case in the reverse case when electron i'm just taking an example the electron is in the third orbit when the electron jumps from higher orbit to lower orbit that is from third to second or from third to first or from fourth to third or from fourth to first or from fifth to fourth or fifth to three or five to first now the electron is coming from higher energy level to lower energy level in that case the electron will emit energy the electron will 
emit energy out to the surroundings so that was the postulates given by bohr sir regarding the structure of atom hopefully my dear students you got this point i have also given the picture of bohr sir in the start of the lecture so it was a easy postulate in the next lecture we are going to derive the radius of the orbit the energy of the electron in the orbit the velocity of the electron in the orbit uh its time period of revolution etc and etc so this was the introduction to the bohr atomic model i hope you all understood today's lecture if any student wants to book a paid one to one online class to clear their doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of this lecture please like subscribe and share my channel to maximum number of students Don't forget to press the subscribe button. Stay blessed.